If your head is in a room, the room is in your head. If we want to change our minds, the best way is to become more conscious of the language we use, which too often uses us, but to also change our relationship to space and spaces, which of course also changes our relationships with time. And being without sight gives us a whole new way to consider what we trust, what boundaries we draw, and what we can be sure of or not. The key to expanding consciousness, imaginative capability, and simple enjoyment of our own experiences with our minds, with the world, is to change the ratio of our mind to the world, to see ourselves not containing in the world, but more dynamically a part of that. And one of the simplest ways to do that is just a few minutes each week, blindfolded in your own space. I guarantee you, you will then see, feel, experience, and engage with all of the spaces inside you very differently. The ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus famously said that you can't step in the same river twice. Well, we might take that logic and ask if we're the same people day to day without the aspect of imagination that we call memory. Who are we? Blindfold work can make us feel more at home in our rivers. What can't you see?